America, let's pause for a moment to proclaim this historical moment, not just for the legacy of George Floyd, but for the legacy of America. The legacy of trying to make America for all Americans. So that George Floyd's victory and America's quest for equal justice under the law would be intertwined. America, let's frame this moment as a moment where we finally are getting close to living up to our Declaration of Independence, that we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equally, that they're endowed by their Creator with certain inalienable rights, that amongst them are life and liberty and the pursuit of happiness. Well, America, that means all of us. That means black people. That means Hispanic people. That means native people. That means Asian people. That means all of us, America. We frame this moment for all of us, not just for George Floyd. This is a victory for those who champion humanity over inhumanity, those who champion justice over injustice, those who champion morals over immorality. America, let's lean into this moment and let's make sure, Reverend Al, that this moment will be documented for our children yet unborn as they continue on the journey to justice knowing that the blood of George Floyd will give them a trail to find a way to a better America, a more just America, a more just America where Breonna Taylor gets an opportunity to sleep in peace at night without the police busting in her front door, a more just America where Maude Arbery gets to run free and not be lynched for jogging while black. A more just America where Jacob Blake and Anthony McLean and Walter Scott and Laquan McDonald and all these other black men, Terrence Crutcher, who was shot in the back while running away like Dante Wright was just a week ago because for some reason, black men running away from the police is more dangerous than young white men who commit mass murders and walk towards the police with an assault weapon, Reverend Bryant, like Kyle Rittenhouse in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Wow. America, let this be the precedent. Yes. Let this be the precedent where we live up to the high ideals and the promises when we say liberty and justice for all. Those sun-kissed children are included in all. Those children who overcame slavery, the Middle Passage, the Dred Scott decision, Plessy B. Ferguson, Jim Crow, and his much smarter, wiser son, Jim Crow Jr. Esquire. Let this be the precedence where we overcome systematic racism and oppression and that we are a better people and we will leave our children a better world, a better world for us all.